good morning. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning this Tuesday morning. Um, so I did get um, all of the tags completely cut out and sewn around. Uh, this is our journal so far. It's not sewn together. I probably should have grabbed the stuff to sew it together, but it's up there, so it's not that big of a deal to grab it. Um, but I did want to kind of finish decorating it up before I sewed it together completely. Um, I just, I don't know, adding the, the tags and such, I think is fine to do after it's sewn together, but adding stuff like pockets seems to be a lot easier when you can just take the page out, put the pocket on, put the page back. But that's just me. I go back and forth. Sometimes I decorate after. Sometimes I decorate before. I don't know. And I love the sound of this vellum. Sorry, I just keep playing with it. All right. So, um, yeah, let me show you these tags that we did. Um, and there's this book. So I was going through a box that Eve sent me, oh, I don't know, last summer. And... Um, I found this book in that box and it's upside down and I thought that this would be absolutely perfect to add to one of the pages or a couple of the pages but it is um, I honestly have no idea what this is all I know is it's gorgeous and I love this one of these days because I'm I'm not going to keep this book like as is um, this was sent to me so I could use it and that's what I intend to do use it um, I don't know what the copyright is so I don't think I can scan it I'd have to have her tell me what the copyright is oh it's 1831 yeah I'm pretty sure I can scan this <laughs> yeah I think we're good on that aspect so um, anyway some of these are just really 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 cool and so I thought that I could use some of these pages in the journal as well. So I'm going to set that aside. Possible. Maybe. I also found these guys. Um, so I have a lot of recollections back in my, not that, but um, from back in my like generalized paper crafting days, I have a lot of recollection stuff because I don't Michael's like five minutes from my house I don't go to Michael's here because it's right beside the mall and for those of you who have been with me for a minute you know I don't go anywhere near that mall um, and you know why but I grabbed those because I figured they would also go really well and I grabbed the holes because we'll got a bunch of tags so got some holes and these are our tags that we made. <laughs> uh, there's a couple. So these are the ones. Let me zoom you guys in. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay, these are the ones that I made with that ginormous paper <laughs> collage thingy. So there is the front, the back, and they're all sewn around. So I don't have to do that on camera. Yay. Um, and I think they all turned out really, really cute. Like, I can't believe I have not done this before. It's just, it's so incredibly efficient. Like, oh, this was the lace one. So, um, this was one of them. And it sat like that, right? And so I cut it here. And I have one big card. And I was like, you know, I don't really need a lot of cards that big. So I cut it right down the side. So I have lace on this side and then I have a big piece of lace there. <clears throat> so I went, it's early morning. Well, it's not really early morning. It's 11 o'clock. Um, so my allergies are still kind of, you know, they're not really behaving themselves. This is another one of the laces. Uh, the lace actually went really well through my trimmer. I was really pleasantly surprised at how well it went through my trimmer. These are, I did do a couple of them that were kind of fat. 
because I thought that they would go really well in the, um, the front and back cover pockets because they're nice and fat. So I did those. And then we can also still decorate on top of that. But, oh, I didn't show you the backs. Um, I think, yeah. There we go. I think we're caught up. I love the simplicity of this one, actually. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I'm going to have to take a sip of my tea, I think. Um, but yeah, I think that these turned out really cool. I mean, I don't think I'm going to do an extra large piece like that again. Um, just because it's very bulky. And I had to take this to my kitchen table with my yardstick and my box cutter. <laughs> Once I cut the, um, the top down to 12, it was fun. I just had to cut along the, um, like, I had to cut, now you're zoomed too far in. So how, how it was this big and you couldn't see, like, all of it, I just measured down 12 inches and then cut straight across that whole length of it. And once I did that, um, I could put it in my trimmer and it was perfectly fine. So it worked out. I love this one too. I like all of them, man. I think they all came out super cool because they all match and they're all different, you know, like even pieces that are connected, like you can tell, like I got this one from this one or wherever this came from. I don't even know where this came from, but, um, Like, you can tell that they all came from the same thing, sort of, kind of, but they match, and they're all different, and I don't know, it's just, it's so cool. And I love these lace ones, so I'm definitely going to be doing that again. And then this one was the only card that I pulled out of it, um, but when I got done sewing all of these together and I went back and I looked at my journal to you know look through it I realized after all of that you know collaging and cutting and sewing you know what I forgot to do I forgot to cut a piece this this tall so that's where the book page comes in the into play what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a book page here and I'm just going to grab one um, it's pretty perfect I'm going to pair across here let's grab this so yeah I realized that um, and I love this paper. This paper is like, I don't even know. It's like fibrous. It's kind of crazy. But anyway, I realized after I cut all those cards out that I missed the whole reason I started doing collaging again. Well, the biggest reason was so I could cut a piece for that page and then, you know, do tags with the rest of it. Yeah, I did a whole bunch of tags and forgot that one piece. Have you guys ever done that? Like you go to the grocery store for one very specific thing. You get in there, you get your groceries, you get home, you put your groceries away just to realize you didn't get the one thing you went to the grocery store for. Ever done that? I've done that several times. I actually did that this weekend. Um, yeah, so I went to the grocery store for some marinades, very specific, and, um, because we've been eating a lot of chicken and fish and pork, and, um, so we get some marinades to kind of switch things up a little bit instead of, you know, my house seasoning, which I just 
I got a mason jar and I just put a bunch of spices in there and we use that on a lot of things except for steak um, we don't use it on steak uh, we normally just use salt and pepper on steak to be honest with you um, but anyway um, oh, sorry my tremors underneath me um, so we went to um, Walmart because I wanted to get some stuff for Sydney because we don't think we're going to go trick-or-treating this year because, well, we don't even know if we're allowed to, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know which side I like better. I think I like that side better. So anyway, um, we're not even sure if we're allowed to go trick-or-treating. So... I wanted to get some things that we could do with the kids, so I got some um, some small like pumpkins and a pack of brushes, so they could paint the pumpkins. Cause we had already picked up a big pumpkin from the grocery store last week. Anyway, those were my two reasons for going to Walmart. Cause we were out that way anyway. And, um, yep, uh, we got all the way there, we got all of our groceries, we got all of our stuff, and got home, got everything put away, and I was like, dang, numb it, and he's like, what? I was like, we didn't get any marinade, not even one, and he's like, well, why don't you make cake and flaky to the grocery store? It's like, ah, okay, fine. So, um... We go to the grocery store while I'm there. Lane calls and, okay, so backtrack a little bit. We had to get a new uh, chair to go outside because um, his other chair, it, it reclined a little bit and it had like a little footrest on it, right? And it broke. So um, we had to get another one. That was another reason why we chose Walmart instead of like a grocery store. So anyway, I'm back out of the grocery store again, the commissary, which is right down the road. Wayne calls me and he's just like, yeah, Porter just come in and tell me that he, uh, he broke the chair. I was like, what chair? The chair we just bought? He's like, no, the dining room chair. I was like, you mean my marble tabletop dining room chair? He's like, yeah, that one. I was like, great, fantastic what do you want from me? <laughs> and, um, so he wanted me to go to Ace Hardware and get some like dowel rods or something, but I have no, I, I'm not a construction person. I have no idea how to do any of this stuff. Right. So that was humorous anyway. Um, so that was that day. Uh, <laughs> like, and that was all Saturday. Like, it was, I don't know, it was just, it was a crazy day, man. It was crazy. Um, oh, my gosh. But, yeah, so we ended up going back out. Then we went to um, the commissary to get the marinades. Then we went back out again to, um, well, while we were out, we went to Ace, because it's also right down the road. And... Um, I swear I think the guy thought I was an idiot because I had no idea what I was talking about. And I was like, I have no idea, dude. My husband just sent me out here. I don't know what's going on. And, yeah. But that's okay. Because, <laughs> you know what? I got 5,000 steps <laughs> in that day. It was quite, it was kind of hilarious. Oh, and I almost got a new tattoo yesterday. Or not yesterday, but Saturday. Yesterday was Monday. Um, well, for me, yesterday was Sunday, because today is Monday, but you guys are seeing this tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Anyway, I almost got a new tattoo, but the tattoo shop where I go, um, they, uh, their system was completely down. Like, it was kind of crazy. Um, I really like that. I think that works out really well. Um... But yeah, their system was completely down and uh, like they couldn't see their uh, 
appointments. They couldn't see. Uh, they couldn't see anything. Their credit card machine was down. Their uh, their appointments and such was down. Like it was everything was down. Um, and what was really going to be cool about it is Haven has um, designed something that she wants to get. It's really cool. It's a it's an arrow with uh, it's a combination of three different elements: an arrow, a semicolon, and a wolf. And um, she actually sat there and designed that whole thing. And she's she wants to put it on her forearm. And I'm like, girl, you are crazy. For your first tattoo, you want it on your forearm. That's right here. That hurts. I mean, it's not the worst place to go, but whew, Nelly Furtado. Anyway, um, this is like not working. Okay, there we go. So we were going to have a nice pretty day of, you know, some artwork, but uh, we went up there and they're like, oh, well, it'll be a couple hours. Uh, I guess they assumed that the machines and everything would start working again. But when we went back up there a few hours later, after we had, you know, been up there initially, they told us, because I asked them, I was just like, can I just make an appointment for tomorrow or something? And yeah, their system's completely down. I was like, what is happening? So yeah. Um, so that didn't happen. Hopefully their system gets fixed. Because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a black and white artist, or a black and gray artist rather, take these mushrooms the fact that they're mushrooms and kind of like the design of them, not the um, exact replica, but like how they're sitting, how the greenery is here, and then the mushrooms kind of come up. I want them to do the same thing on this side, but in a black and white realistic, realistic fantasy style. Um, and I don't think the guy that did my left arm is actually still there, which that stinks. Um, I don't know where he went. Um, cause my left arm's actually not done, but then again, neither is my right arm, but no one's touching my right arm except for Zach. So eventually we might go back to Washington. Oh. I have news. We might not go back to Washington. Like, we're trying to go back to Washington, but we might not get there. Um, because my husband has to have surgery on his ear. So he has a couple holes in his eardrum. And um, it could disqualify him submarine. Which means our chances of going to the West Coast just dropped drastically because of how many carriers are on the left are on the left side or on the west side versus the right side. It puts our chances of being in Norfolk a lot higher. Um, but we've never been to Mor Norfolk, so I think of it as an adventure. It might happen. I don't know. Um, but Disqualifying him sub is actually not a bad thing. We have come to terms with it and we're actually looking forward to the different quality of life that comes with a carrier versus a submarine. Um, for one, we're going to have communications. Like, that's a big thing. Um, when he goes out on deployments, we don't, we don't have communications. Like, there's more black time than communication time. And it's, um, it's kind of crappy, actually. <laughs> like, after dealing with it for 15 years, I'm, I'm up for a change, you know? I'm up for a change of scenery. You want to go surface? All right, let's make it happen. And it's, I don't know how it works. 
All I know is basically Doc's gonna be like, you know, do you want to stay surf or do you want to stay sub or do you want to go surface? Because if he wants to, this is not working very well. If he wants to stay sub, then basically he has to sign a medical waiver because the submarine medical isn't the equivalent of the carriers. Like the carriers have a freaking hospital on their on their ship. The submarines, they have a corpsman, which I don't know if you know this, but a corpsman is not even as qualified as a registered nurse. So they're not doctors. Uh, when they get out, they can't even be a registered nurse. They have to go through a lot of different qualifications to get to be um, a nurse. <coughs> so the point is, is that the, um, the medical is very different on a submarine versus a hospital or versus a carrier. I think that's like the difference between going into, well, no, it's not even that because I was going to say it's the difference between going into like a walk-in clinic versus going into uh, an ER, but even that's not even a fair comparison because there are doctors at a walk-in clinic. There are not doctors on a submarine. Um, now, don't get me wrong. They're still really cool people. Like one of one of Wayne's best friends is um, she's a corpsman, and she's really freaking cool. Um, well, I don't know that she's his best friend, but one of his really good friends from his last boat, uh, she's really, really cool. And that's honestly how I know as much as I do about the Cormans because of her. <laughs> um, I don't know. Go back. But anyway, so yeah, I forgot to tell you guys about that. Wayne's got surgery. Um, his surgery is, it's the beginning of November. Uh, he has to take convalescent leave for, I think it's two and a half weeks, maybe more. Um, and Sorry, I was thinking of how I wanted to do this. Um, Mm -hmm. Trying to make this go down the thing straight. Um, where are my scissors? I think my children stole my scissors. Oh, no, they didn't. They were hiding. I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault. Uh, so anyway, yeah. Um, the surgery is really not that um, invasive. They go in, patch up the hole in holes in the ears, and then are in the ear. And, um, then they're going to not only like fix the holes, but they're going to try to fix it to where the holes aren't recreated or reformed. Um, sorry, I like got something underneath my nail and it's irritating me. I don't know what it is, but anyway, um, so it's really not that bad. I think the recovery time on the surgery itself is like a week and a half, two weeks. He has to go back in afterwards for a healing fest. Um, 
And it's really kind of ironic because the Navy would always tell him, you know, he's got good hearing. Um, and I would always tell him, the Navy's lying to you because you can't hear. Because he, he, he's a very typical man in the sense of he has selective hearing. He hears what he wants to hear. I mean, yes, he is a great, amazing guy, but he's typical in the sense of he has very selective hearing. And uh, I tell him all the time, I was like, you do not have perfect hearing. And it was funny because when he went to the ENT, she asked him, uh, do you have issues with your hearing? And he's like, well, it depends on who you ask. <laughs> she looked at him funny. And she was just like, or he was just like, my mom, my, my wife seems to think I'm deaf. <laughs> it's like, that's because he is deaf. <laughs> but anyway, um, it was, it was just funny. Um, okay. So what do you think? Oh, I think that turned out really cool. I like that. And then we've got this one on this side. I think I want to darken that up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. So I didn't actually put any extra ink on this brush that I use for inking. I just picked it up and started smearing. There we go. And it takes some of that white off. There's like a sticky something right here. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's from like um, the beginning of the uh, the tape. There we go. Oh, that's better. Out of the pocket. Hello, pocket. Let's put a tag in your pocket. Well, I want to make sure that we decorate these a little bit. Okay. So now that we have the folder actually, you know, looking good here, I kind of want to put this right here too to kind of keep it going one more time. So let's do that. Oh no. There we go. Alright, um, so anyway, um, his appointment, let's see, what is tomorrow, you're going to see this on the 27th, so his appointment's in like a week, um, his actual surgery date is, I don't know, I don't have it handy. Uh, but it's it's the beginning of November. Um, but yeah, so they're going to do their surgery. He's going to have his post-op. And then they're going to do another hearing test on him. Um, but... I'm pretty excited about the, uh, like I said, well, we both are about going to a carrier because it's just, it's so different than what we have been used to. And it's just, I guess we're just looking forward to that change, you know, instead of having, you know, three to four months or, well, it depends on the submarine that you're going to, but um, even on the boomers that he was on in Washington, they're supposed to be three in, three out. They were not. It was more or less like, like three in, six or seven out. It was kind of ridiculous, but anyway, you've got like six or seven months while they're out in, in the water, and there's no communications like you get emails and you get phone calls if and when they pull into port um 
but that's that's it. The emails are delayed, and it's it's rough. It's it's really rough. And with a carrier, well, instead of having you know three or four people in his division to do a job that requires a lot more than three or four people, he's got thirty or forty people. So he can actually be a chief and not, you know, so hands on and he can actually be a chief and do his job, not do everyone else's job because there's not enough people to do the job. Um, I kind of want to put this on there, but I don't have enough. I could put the green one. What do you think? Yes, maybe no. Bleep. I think we'll leave the flower out and just use the greenery. I like that. Okay. I like that idea. I think, though, I want to. I didn't do it with this one, but. I want to add a layer of goo. And then we'll trim that up. And trim that one up. And now we're done. Well, we're done with that. Well, no, we're not. I lied. I think that's turned out really cool. All right. Oh, and you know what's funny is I put this on this side, but there's a page separating it. But I think that turned out really cool. I was going to say, maybe we should do something on this side. We could do like a top or something. Because <coughs> I do have some of those cards. Um, here. And we could just do like a normal top instead of like a pocket. We'll just do a puck. What do you think? I guess it would help if I actually moved my journal up. Let's see here. How about this one? That one's pretty. Not sure. Maybe we'll just leave it because there's a lot going on on these pages and I want to leave some blank pages so you can actually write. So let's put some, oh, we got to decorate some things. Um, let's figure out which tags we want to use because we're not going to use all of these. I got ginormous fat tags for these pockets here. And I don't know that I want to put the lace in the pocket with the lace. I'm not sure. 
Where's my other ginormous fat pack? Where'd you go? Well, there's a card. I think that might be too big, though. Oh, nope, it's not. Oh, and you can still see the butterfly, so that's good. All right. So this one, we can do this one. Okay. And then that one. And then we'll go back. Don't you worry and make them very pretty pretty all right let's put this one with oh let's put it with a card there we go okay and then now it's something at the top here. So we need something a little bit wider. There we go. Okay. And You here like that. And you there. I feel like this one might need something else too. There we go. Maybe this one. <clears throat> Not sure on that. Okay, we'll figure that out. And then I kind of want to do like a clip in. Not sure. And then this one here. We're saving that wide tag for that. Another wide tag here. one here and this one there mm, I think I still have yeah Let's use that one on the other one. There we go. Okay. And I've made this thing really fat. <laughs> Uh, 
for that. Hmm. Let me put this one here instead. And then, where'd you go? This one and this one here. Like that. Um, there. Oh, this thing is loaded to the brim. This one, that one, and that one. Some of these have two pockets in them, as you can see. Oh my gosh, this thing is fat. <laughs> oh, what did I do? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right. There. Oh, there's two of those. We need one. Okay, so we still have a couple left. Ha! Look at that. We didn't use them all. Woo! <laughs> okay, so before I can sew this together, I have to take them all back out. And we need to decorate them. They're, it's not quite as fat as I thought it was going to be, but that's a good thing. Okay, so. I think what we're going to do is we already have the ones that we want in here. So I think what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to decorate the tags just a little bit if they need it. Some of them don't need it at all, but some of them do. So um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to flip through here, see if anything needs to be added, and then, um, and then we'll sew it together. Yeah. And then it'll be done. Oh my gosh. Can you believe it? Um, so hopefully this will be up by this weekend. That'll be cool. So anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching along with me and letting me play with you guys. This has been so much fun. And thank you guys, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.